Hello friend, this is King Mo the Ash Man. Today picked up a cigar I never smoked before called <clears throat> Gispert. Gispert. I hope I'm saying it right. It's a total. It's a 6x50 Gispert total 6x50. It's a Connecticut wrapper. It's got a natural light wrapper. It's got a not surprisingly nice aroma to it. Cigar feel very smooth to the touch. The rubber feel very smooth. The binder, the filler inside look like they're well made. And it's got a Honduras binder with the Nicaraguan Honduras filler. It got a mix Honduras and Nicaraguan filler with the Honduras wrappers with the Connecticut uh, or Honduras binder with the Connecticut wrapper. Uh, picked this cigar up today and I picked up another cigar with it. I smoked it earlier. Rocky Patel 20th anniversary. It's a box style. That wasn't bad too. We'll be talking about it next time I'm gonna grab another one we'll smoke it and we'll talk about it more for today I never it's the first time I get this Gispert it's called Gispert total 6x50 it's a handmade cigar and it's reasonable pricing it's around five dollars five to six dollars a stick I think I picked up Three, four, fifteen, something. It's about five twenty-five. If you do the math with tax and everything else, um, we're gonna go ahead. I mean, as I told you guys, the cigar look nice. The ring on it look high, high, upper class. It's made look like goldish. With I'm not good with color, guys. Uh, to me, this is look like red, but I know it's burgundy, something. Uh, the the rings look awesome on it. Look how shiny, how nice. Have this extra name and this wide wrappers too. I mean, with that wide wrappers, I'm gonna take out. I'm really in the interview with the smoke it, but here's if you look at the cigar. Look at how smooth, how nice. Look at this. How, look how the wrapper look. Rubber is very smooth, clean, smooth to the touch, you know. Hopefully, I will enjoy it. Hopefully, it won't be a waste of money smoking this cigar. As always, this is a, a fifth, uh, it's a six inch. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I did check it. It's six and it's by 50. This is the 50. It's a 50 ring. This is a typical size. 6x50 is the most, 6x50, 6x48 is the most common cigar size, I believe so. I'm not that expert on the sizes, but I believe so. I read so much good review about it. I mean, the review I read online and uh, the way how the people at Wild Bell recommend it and they talk about it as like one of their top seller in, the, in that category made me out said I'll try it what is gonna hurt to try you know I don't like it write it down in my notes and will be the last time I'll buy it for now I'm not gonna do a punch because it's I don't know I can't the, I don't know what's my puncher at the small one I thanks to my son everything is missing again uh, I'm not gonna do a V cut, it's too small for me to do the V cut. So I'm just gonna do straight cut with my cigar cutter. Just the tip, put it in on it. It's gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me today, guys. Well, we're gonna go ahead and you see the cap. We're just gonna cut just above the cap, like always, that we will get the perfect cut and. 
perfect. Just took some of the cap. Look at it. Look how thin it is. You know, that's the cut. Just took the cover. Just all the cap. Nothing else. Look. Feel the draw, the dry draw on it. I mean, I don't light it up yet. The dry drawing on, draw on it. Feel wide open. Feel like it's gonna be an easy, smooth draw, and that's why you're looking for a cigar to enjoy it. You don't want it to be tight. You don't want it to be hard. <clears throat> you don't want the cigar to be clogged. This don't feel as clogged. It feel. It's very open and good. You get a good taste to it. It's not flavor taste. It's just the tobacco taste, natural tobacco taste to it. I kind of like what I feel so far. I kind of like what I see. But we're going to go ahead with that. Start talking more and more. I keep be talking forever. You know, I talk a lot. According to my wife, she said I talk a lot. Um, I guess she knows me better, and I guess I might talk a lot. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead, use my handy dandy torch lighter. Once again, thanks to my buddy, Spamma from Alabama for this nice gift. But we're gonna go ahead, and as I always, I do the core, the edges. I'll go in a circle motion. Uh, and then you start working your way in from in out out in however you wanna in a circle motion to get as much to keep the burn as even as you can This is the first couple of sips. Look at the look at the ring. Look how I mean I if I gonna rate this ring as of as of right now, the way how it's burning, I'm gonna give it ninety three ninety five, I mean. Surprisingly for a five dollar cigars, look how even the burn so far. I mean this I didn't expect that so far. But we're gonna smoke. very smooth very smooth draw to it smooth mild I like that I don't have to fight hard to smoke it so far nice aroma to it look at the smoke it's well lit look at the ash so far I like the color of the ash Good smoke comes in out. You don't have to work hard to enjoy it. But the cigar is got an awesome, easy draw to it. Plus, being a Connecticut rapper, that's gonna be more, majority of the Connecticut rappers, the light, natural looking rappers, it's gonna be medium to mild strength. Uh, the draw is awesome. The ash burn so far is fabulous. I'm very impressed by it. Never smoked it. I mean, never heard of it. I grabbed one today. Uh, this is a Gispert. Hopefully, I'm saying it right. It's a G I S P E R T Gispert. Or, I don't know. Toro 6x50. It's handmade cigar. It's got a Connecticut rubber with. Honduras, Honduras, Honduran binder, however you want to say it, and with the Honduras Nicaraguan filler. So far, the cigar is not strong, and 
I enjoy that so far. It feel like it's not eat, it's not light and it's not too harsh. It, I'd say so far it's medium. I love the smoke. I love the smell of it. I love the aroma it's making so far. I love the natural smell of cigar and tobacco. Flavor. Cigar got an awesome flavor. It's not flavored. I mean, it's just the taste of the cigar. It's awesome. That's something I enjoy. I like. I'm going to drink it with my coffee and watching a movie here. So if I've been distracted, it's something called... London has fallen on Netflix. London has fallen. I think I watched it before, but if you guys looking for not too expensive cigar, I mean, if the more quantity, the bigger quantity you buy, I seen them online. If you buy them in a quantity of twenty-five, you could get it as cheap as four dollar a stick. With that price, and look how look at the ash. Look how even it is. I I don't expect that from a, a five dollar cigar. As I told you before, guys, I'm very impressed. The cheaper cigar doesn't mean a cheap low quality is no good. As I told you guys before, I smoke a most expensive one, 98 rating, 20 some dollar plus cigar. I was very disappointed, clogged. The cigar is clogged. I did not enjoy the smoke. The burn is horrible. I just throw it away. Not even the half of it. I don't even smoke. And I smoked the $2 cigars. And I love it. This one, so far, what I see, I'm very impressed. So far, I'm going to smoke more. But so far, if what I got right now, to the end of it, I get the same feeling. That might be an everyday cigar to me too. I might go ahead and invest and in, in, do an investment, buy me a 25 count, even a 50 count, and get get it down to three to four dollar a stick. And I might be having it on my humidor. As of right now, I love it. Look at the ash. Look how thick it is. Look at the color of the ash. Look at the burn. It burning even the cigar feel even with the draw easy draw to it it feel cold it's still the cigar is not you know the feel it's very well made constructed I mean I'm drawing on it and everything and the cigar still holding is firm it's not getting any looser it's not getting too hot it's just normal temperature where this how the if it get too hot the cigar is not gonna burn correctly. This is burning as perfect as you want it to be. Guys, I'm gonna stop this video for a minute. Let me smoke a couple of smoke, smoke a couple of minutes out of it. I'll get back to you what I think and everything else. But so far I'm very impressed. It's Gisbert uh, Toro is. I don't know how to get this thing to me for you guys to see it is Gisbert Toro 6x50. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So far, I'm very impressed by it. The ash is thick. Salad, perfect ash. The cigar is very smooth, uh, very smooth draw to it. Is you don't have to fight with it. You know, I just had to flick it, guys. This is the Gisbert Toro six by fifty. It's Connecticut rubber. It's handmade with the Honduras binders and Honduras Nicaraguan filler. You know, guys, guys, uh, uh, the ash, I get it. Perfect ash. I mean, I almost gonna say that's a 95, 95% 95 
95 plus is solid burn awesome even burn um, the strength the cigar is not it's not strong it's not light it's just perfect blend I give it medium strength you know some guys I don't mind keeping this cigar as an everyday smoke for the price awesome as I told you guys I bought them for five dollars but I seen them as cheap if you buy them in quantity of 25 as cheap as four dollars on the internet they come in a nice handsome cedar box if you want to keep it in a box that way to keep it moist and humid or put them in a humidor you won't be disappointed take my uh, don't take my word for it guys go pick up one I picked this one up from Wild Bill and if you, want to, if you wonder why I go to Wild Bill, that's the only smoke shop around me. There's a couple other smoke shops. By the time I finish work, they close. Uh, that Wild Bill, the only one around me, open late. I go grab it, and I'm not disappointed. I'm gonna go back again and thank the lady who recommended this cigar because I was nah, I don't know, I never heard of it, but I'm gonna glad I took it. It's very, very well made cigar for the price. Awesome. Burns even. The burn is even. The flavor is very. I don't know how to say it. Very good. It's it's not it's the flavor of the tobacco, the aroma. It smells very nice. I'm sitting here, I'm looking around. I don't have that much going on. Uh, the smell is perfect. I love the smell of real tobacco, you know. Very well constructed. So look at, look at the wrapper so far. I've smoked half of it. And the wrapper still as intact as you want it to be. It's unraveled, nothing. Look at the ring. I love this ring on it. You know, the cigar ring, man, is shiny. I mean, make you feel like like a 24 karat gold. Look how shiny it is. I don't know if it shows guys or no, but I'm really very really impressed by it. I wish if I known about it long time ago. I mean, I, my, this, Gispert, and my Cuban Delight, this is gonna be my, I'm gonna add this to my, for my everyday smoking cigars. I'm gonna buy more, and I'm gonna fill my humidor with it. I'll give it, guys, and be honest with you guys, I'll give it a five star. It is a five star cigar. I'm really loving, loving it. And I'm very impressed by it. Smell, color, aroma, the ash, everything is well, well constructed cigar. All the reviews I read, they weren't lying about it. Everyone was saying almost the same about it. I'm very impressed. I said, I gotta try it. As a final thought, guys, the cigar still feel awesome. I mean, it's not getting any smushier. It's still holding its strength. Still as tight as you want it to be. It's not getting that much hot. That means it's easy draw. I'm not. Ha I don't have to work and fight with it to get the smoke out. You know, it's a. F I give it a five star. I would. I won't. I don't mind buying it over and over again. I do not mind making it an everyday cigars for me. It's not too harsh. It's just perfect strength. Easy, mellow draw. I don't know, I could be talking more than over and over about it guys. I hope you guys don't take my word for it. Go grab one. Go grab one. You know, you know who you are. You don't like it, come talk to me. I will give you your five dollar back. I won't give you five twenty five. I don't I'm I'm not paying you the tax. But I'll give you your five dollars if you don't like it. But I'm very sure you will try it. You're gonna agree with me. It's I'm not gonna say it's the best cigar you ever smoked, but it's one of the best I smoked so far.
and you you will agree with me guys for now i'm gonna have to let you guys go i want to enjoy the rest of it and finish drinking my coffee with my favorite mug cummins engine i thank you for this nice gift mr shed mr boldy shed i love you for that gift guys this is king mo the ash man check out my other videos check out my other review come on guys tell me what you think tell me am i talking too much over and over tell me you guys are you guys learning anything you enjoying them if you guys not enjoying them be honest with me i don't want to make fool of myself and just talk and blabbers for nothing you know i did i did this i used to smoke every night i never put a videos i just put pictures and that's it you guys say it would be nice if you talk some of them about these cigars and let us know what you think and that way if we'd like to try them you know and we'll see what we think but guys come on uh, let me know what you guys think of it and once again this is Gis Gispert Toro 6x50 6x50 it feel good in the hand Easy draw, Connecticut wrapper. I love it. I'm in love with it. This is gonna be one of my everyday cigars. This, my Cuban Delight. These two so far is one of my everyday cigars. I have some shorties, my everyday cigars too. Which we talked about one not too long ago, the, the Quorum. The Quorum, the shorty, the three and a half by 50. We talk about that. That's one of my shorty for everyday cigars. With this one, it might take about an hour, 45 to an hour to finish. That's an awesome time to sit and relax and do whatever you want to do and watch a movie at the same time. For now, peace out. King Mo the Ash Man. Talk to you guys later.